What up, what up? Wimbush here, and I'm excited to finally be able to show you guys Adobe Aero. Now, I was originally a part of the Project Aero beta team, and so over the past year or so, I was able to see how it was incrementally getting better. And so with the official release, I wanted to put together a proper tutorial for you guys to show you how to take your own 3D model, bring it into Mixamo, and then output it from Mixamo with your animations into Adobe Aero. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. I have, I'm on um, sketchfab.com. I looked up All Might for my favorite anime, My Hero Academia, and I came up with this guy here. I mean, he looks pretty legit and he comes with the textures. And so for this model, he actually lets us download the 3D model and it has all the textures included. So I already went and downloaded this. So our next step will be just to bring this into Cinema 4D. So let me find my folder where I downloaded it. So All Might, the number one hero come over to source and here's our FBX. So I'm just gonna click and drag this into Cinema 4D. And then I'm just gonna leave everything here as the default, just click okay. And now we have our 3D model and I'm not sure what program we built it in, but it doesn't have our textures. They didn't come over, which I mean, we could easily bring those over. And so if I scroll in here, you can see that we already have a skeleton already binded to our character but we want them in the T pose. And instead of manually doing it, I believe if I come over here and if I go to his bones right here, if I delete these, yeah, so he had a, he modeled them out in the T pose, which we have here, which is great. So now the next step is to just um, apply the textures on here. So let me go back to my folder where I downloaded them at, go to textures. And as you can see here, which is really cool, he did some shadowing on the face. And so we have one side of the face is dark and the other side is light right here. And so I'm going to apply these where they need to go. So let's say I want the left side to be light. So I clicked on the left material here. I'm going to turn off reflectance. I'm going to leave the color on. I'm just going to click and drag the light material over here and click no. Oh, so now you can see the um, left side of his face is light. So I'm going to go to the right side of the head. Same thing. Turn off reflectance. Come to color. This time I want to use the dark one. Click no. Okay, so now the right side of his face is dark. I think that's a cool look. So I'm going to do the same thing for his body. For his body, I'm going to do dark. Let me see. Torso dark. There we go. Drag it over here to my texture. Click no. Turn off reflectance and then do the same thing for the left side. Click on my color, click and drag my material into the texture right here. So real quick and easy, click no. And there we go. Then I'm not sure what these two materials are. I don't see them connected to anything here. So if I come down here to, let me see, edit and delete unused materials. There we go, so it deletes all the materials that we're not currently using. So now the next step is to export this as an FBX file that Mixamo can um, resolve and rig up for us. So if I come over to file, come over to export, and let's make a FBX. And for Mixamo, like on default, it's gonna ask you to export as a 7.5, which is 2016, but for Mixamo, I believe that you have to use version 20, um, 2013, which is 7.3. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna just click OK. And now let me find a folder that I wanna put it into, which I made a Mixamo folder here. Then I'm gonna just rename this one all uh, might underscore Winbush and click Save. And depending on how large your model is, it could take a few seconds, but that one was instant. I mean, this is pretty low poly here. So let me go back to my folder. And now I wanna copy these materials and I wanna paste them into that Mixamo folder that I just made. There we go. So now I have my FBX and I have all my materials in the same folder. So now the next step is to go over to Mixamo, which is also free, well not free, but if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud, then you can, you can um, use Mixamo. So I'm going to log in here. And then after I'm done logging in, we're gonna show you how to rig everything up with Mixamo. Okay, so like I was saying, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, then you get Mixamo with it, which if you go to mixamo.com, you can just log in with your account and you're good to go. 
So now we want to upload our character. Let me click upload character. And it's going to give you a hi there to upload your character. Just drag and drop. And I'm going to be using the FBX. So let me open up my folder. All might underscore Wimbush. Let's drag this here. And this is going pretty fast. Let's see. It usually takes a minute or two because what it's doing right now is actually auto rigging our character. And then once it's done auto rigging, we could use a whole plethora of different um, motion capture sequences that's already installed in Mixima. So let's give this a few moments. There we go. It looks like it's auto rigged. So everything looks good. So I'm going to click next. And now we just have to tell it where these, um, these points go to. So you're just going to place the marker where it's supposed to go. So this one is the chin. Then if you hover over it, it will tell you what it is. So this one, it wants to do the right wrist, which if I turn, yeah, so this is my right hand. So my right wrist will be on my screen left here. And then same thing here, do right elbow, which would be screen left. And for my knees or for his knees. And then for the groin right there in the center. And then for my skeleton LED, I'm going to do standard skeleton, click next and give us a second or two and it will auto rig. And then from here, we can take it over and add some animations to it. Okay. So after your stuff is done auto rigging, this is what should pop up on the screen. And it should show you that everything looks like it's rigged pretty well. There's no pulling on a mesh or anything like that. And so the next step is to just click next. And then I'm going to click next again. And then you'll see on my right hand side, it has my character loaded up in the T pose. Now with Mixamo, it has a whole bunch of mocap data that we could work with. Like we could have him boxing in here, do stuff like that. But I found this cool one called a flying knee that looks pretty cool when he runs across the screen here. So let me do this one. It's a flying knee punch combo. So that's like a superhero move right there. Jump knee with a punch. Yeah, that's dope right there. So I got my animation the way that I want. And on the right hand side here, you can even like if you want to really make them go crazy, you can ramp up this overdrive. It speeds it up. And you can slow it down a little bit. Something like that. Maybe let's see what 26 looks like. So that's pretty cool. Let's do 30. And then depending on the type of animation that you pick, you can actually have a whole bunch more attributes on here. Like this one, we have character arm spacing. So he actually wides his arms way out or we can shorten them the distance that, yeah, which that goes to his body. So we'll do somewhere around like 48, I guess. Yeah, somewhere around there is good. And then if you want to trim the frames, you have that option as well. If you click on mirror, it kind of just reverses. Like now he's punching with his right hand instead of his left hand. And so once you once you um, have the animation that you want, usually you would click send the arrow. This is a new function that they just added um, when they brought out Adobe Arrow. But for some reason, this one isn't working. And so I found a workaround. So if we go to download, and then we're going to download it as an FBX. I'm going to leave it at 30 frames with skin, no keyframe reduction. And then I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to wait for my download screen to pop up here. And so I'm going to save it. And I think it's going to go to my download folder. Let's see. Yep. So I have it in my download folder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my folder that has all my materials in it. Remember my Mixamo folder. And I'm going to drag this into here. And the reason that it has a one next to it is because I tested this out earlier. So. I'm actually going to delete this one here, but yours should just say flying knee combo. And actually I'm going to rename it. I'm going to just rename it to all might knee like that. Okay. And then for the next step, we're going to want to make a zip file with our FBX file and all of our materials. So I'm going to left click on my FBX. Then I'm going to hold down control and select all my materials here. And then whatever project or whatever program that you use to make a zip file, you just want to right click. Oops. Let me select these again. So I'm going to right click and I'm using seven zip. And so I'm going to go down to add the archive and I'm going to rename this one all might knee and click. Okay. 
So now we have a zip file. So just to recap, what I did was I took the Mixamo stuff that I downloaded, the FBX file, I made a zip folder with all the materials there. And then the next step is if you have Creative Cloud installed, you should, in, um, I'm not sure how it works on Mac, but on PC, if you use Windows Explorer, you'll have a Creative Cloud folder over here on your left-hand side. So if you click on that, you'll come up with a folder right here. It says Project Arrow. You wanna double click on that and then you wanna to go to input assets. So double click on that. And then we're gonna take our zip file and bring it into there. And then you can see it has this, um, let me see if I can make this a little bit larger. Okay, so if you see here to the left of our folder here, a zip file, it has an arrow going left and right. And so that means that it's actually uploading it to the Creative Cloud. And once it's done, it should have a check mark there. Oh, just like that. So that means that we're now able to use it within Project Arrow. So next, I'm gonna get it loaded up on my iPad and I'll see you in Project Arrow. Adobe Arrow, not Project anymore. Okay, so now I have my iPad here. I'm gonna open up Adobe Arrow on here. Okay, cool. So now what I wanna do is I wanna go down to Create New. And then I'm gonna use my mouse pad here to track with. So same finding surface, tap on that. And then I'm gonna tap the, um, the plus key down here in the lower left-hand corner. And I'm gonna to go to Creative Cloud, tap on that. And then I wanna tap on Project Arrow. And then I believe I wanna to go to Input Assets. There we go. So now we have our All Might Knee file here. So I'm gonna click on this zip file it's not going to give us a preview if the um remember on mixamo where it says send the project arrow or not project arrow but send the arrow it would actually give us a preview file but since that functionality is not really working right now we had to do a workaround and so it's not going to give us a preview available but i'm going to click open and then i'm going to place my asset where i want here so i'm going to tap there and let's see so now we have All Might on our mouse pad here. So if I scroll all the way around, you can see, you can even go behind them. And it's tracking pretty well. Okay, so remember that flying knee that we have put on there? So we can actually add that animation on here. So if I tap on All Might here, you see in the bottom, um, in the bottom area here where it says behaviors, I wanna click on that, and then I'm gonna click on plus trigger. And I'm actually gonna do it for when I touch them. So I'm gonna click on touch. And then I'm gonna click on action. And then I'm gonna click on animate. And then it already has it. Um, it has my animation already there as Mixamo.com. I believe you can add several animations. And so I'm not sure exactly how that works yet, but I think you can actually chain them together so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click the check mark and then I'm going to tap off in my upper left hand corner right beside edit in the house. It says preview. I'm going to click on preview. And now if I tap on all might, he's actually going to do a jump knee off the desk. But that just kind of shows you he's not going to fall down because the floor plane isn't below. But I mean, that's still pretty neat. And if you want to reset it, you just tap it. Like I was saying, I think you could chain some animations together. So if we, um, yeah, if we actually brought this back in the cinema, we could have probably had them do the jump fly knee and then run back into place. But for the tutorial sake, just to show you guys how to get this thing working, this is basically how simple it is to get your stuff working in Arrow. Go back to edit here. And as you can see, it even has the shadow on our mouse pad. So as I'm scrolling around, he's actually casting a shadow on our mouse pad, which is really, really cool. So I've been using Arrow since it was Project Arrow last year. I've been beta testing and I was quite surprised when they released the final version of how much they, or how much they've um, improved upon it because honestly, for Project Arrow, some of this stuff wasn't working correctly. So they've really come a long way. And I'm really impressed with what they're doing. So hopefully this helped you guys out. As always, if you do make a project, especially with my tutorials helping you, like, um, you know, just tag me on your Instagram or your Twitter feeds. Just kind of show me what you guys are doing. And if this did help you, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing more AR stuff in the future. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating. Take care.
Yeah.